What an episode, man. That was amazing. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I'm in, I'm in shock. That was... Oh, perfect. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, welcome back to another, well, the final episode of my breakdown, review, and rating of Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode 6 One World, One People. Now, before we start, I would just like to say that uh, thank you for supporting this series. It'll keep going with Bad Batch coming out on, not this Tuesday, next Tuesday, or could do Loki, What If, Hawkeye, and all that. Uh, but yeah, I greatly appreciate all your support and let me just say there's a surprise for all of you at the end of this video. So stay tuned. So the episode starts off with where we continued from in the last episode. Uh, that is where the Flash Smashers are evading the DRC summit. Um, and we get to see Sam Wilson in his new Captain America outfit. Now, it looks fucking sick, but I've got to be honest, it's not the best Captain America outfit that I've seen. The way it's kind of inherited the wings and also the shield is sick. It's just, I feel like the outfit kind of a bit more red. The white is a bit too overgoing. The blue is okay. It's just there's too much white and not enough red for me personally. But, we get to see Sam finally use the shield on a human and take them out and then we finally see Sam face off against Batroc um, if you don't know Batroc was hired by the power broker to help Carly for what we assume so far in the episode but that's not how it turns out I'll reveal later but Bucky is trying to help with the evac but um, before this happens uh, Bucky downstairs uh, outside meets Sharon and yeah it looks like Sharon's going to be driving on this adventure she used a face disguise the similar one to Black Widow in The Winter Soldier 2014 um, to sneak into the United States and not be detected which is cool um, <clears throat> then like I said we see uh, Bucky trying to help with the evac, but he gets a call from my Carly Morgenthau, who is the leader of the Flying Smashers, if you don't know. If you don't know, then you're stupid. <laughs> um, they have a talk for like two three minutes, and whilst this is going on, one of the guards that are escorting the people, like the senators and all that, out of the GRC building, puts a bomb on each truck. There's two trucks filled with loads of senators, so both he's a big meaty man like me and yeah um Sharon um complains to Bucky that he's really late and hence Bucky has to absolutely dash it on his fast bike meanwhile Sharon and um well Sharon kills the person who put the bombs on the bike and yeah his head just blows off the side. Um, she's a mercury vapor and some other stuff. We don't know what that is yet. Oh, we don't know. Full stop. Um, we see Sam. I think he defeats. No, he doesn't defeat the truck. He knocks him down, throws his shield out the window because the helicopter's about to fly off with the senators because they, uh, they exploded one of the. Well, they took some of the senators' the helicopter. Person flight helicopter was part of five smashers. They knew that. Sam. I think he hits the truck with the shield, uh, throws the shield out of the building and then jumps out of the building himself with his wings to fly off against a helicopter. Now we finally see the return of uh, his good old sidekick Red Wing. Uh, Red Wing detects that, I can't remember the first day but the last day was Perez, uh, she has flying experience. This was smart by Sam because then Sam, if life or death situation, he knows that she can fly, so he does not bother asking, and then he can just get her to fly the helicopter when he takes out the bad guy. Um, whilst this is happening, Bucky's on the ground fighting a couple of flag smashers, and yeah, um, I think he's also trying to stop the truck, but that's when one of the trucks flip over, 
Carly gets out, well, Carly's near the truck. And then we see John Walker with his new shield. Which we find out is not made of vibranium because it dents pretty easily. But you see later on episode, Sam's shield does dent when Carly punches it, but it dents when Carly punches John's. So, the shield's not made of vibranium, but we also see his Medal of Honor, or I think it's Lamar's Medal of Honor, um, in the shield. Uh, Carly says that he... <coughs> Give me a sec. Uh, we see Carly say that Lamar's life didn't matter for her cause, which makes John get a few of her throw the shield. She uh, does a switch, switch kick out of the way, puts on the mask, they have a fight. Um, see the draw, I think Carly runs off. Uh, the truck is about to go over the ledge. Bucky's underneath it. Um, looks like it's about to die, but then Sam comes in after saving them like the helicopter and pushes it back up after John is holding on to it with all of his super soldier might. Then after this, we see Carly uh, and Sam have a conversation for like five seconds and then some either gas or chemical weapon disposed in the area, which I presume is gas. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, uh, they run off. Uh, Carly runs down into a like a underground network and she's met by Sharon Carter with a gun. And then we find out Batroc was hired by Sharon Carter, who is now better known as the Power Broker. Yes. Sharon Carter is indeed the Power Broker. Zemo knew it. Carly knew it. But we didn't. And then we see Carly shoot Sharon after Sharon's threatened by Batroc to expose her. Uh, she shot once in the right side of her lower body, similar to how Scarlet Witch was actually, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Black Widow was actually shot in the exact same place. Well, fun fact. And then Sam and Carly have a conversation. Carly starts to fight Sam, but Sam does not want to fight. But it's clear Sam does not want to fight Carly. She has her up four. She gets up, points a gun at him in his face. He's like about this far away. But then we see out of nowhere, bang, 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 three gunshots. There, there, well, lower body, mid body, chest to Carly from Sharon. And then she, well, Carly dies. I predicted this last episode, if you saw. So, yeah. Sam flies down with her, puts her in ambulance, talks to the senators, and after one of the best speeches that he's ever done, or in the universe ever, talk to the senators. That was so fucking good. And then we see Bucky making all of his amends, especially the one which I said last episode I knew would happen with Yuri Yamasaki. Tells him that he killed him and he didn't have a choice. But, obviously, how are you going to forgive someone who killed your own son? Um, he delivers a present to his doctor who was there and he completed the book. Uh, Zemo is still on the raft reading Machiavelli. The episode ends with Sam, Isaiah, and Elijah Bradley uh, having a conversation. Sam takes them to the museum, which is in episode one with War Machine, and we see that in one of the sections of the Captain America stuff, there's now a plaque and statue of Isaiah Bradley. So they will never forget what he did. And there was a little party at where Sam's uh, work area is with Sarah. And we finally figure out that it's now 
the series name at the end was now Captain America and the Winter Soldier. So episode one through five is Falcon and Winter Soldier, but now that stamp is Captain America. Episode six is kind of like episode one of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. So that's my breakdown and. Um, yeah, it was a fun episode, and I'll give you my rating right now. So, um, my new rating for this episode is the highest one I've given it, given for this entire series. Only just pips out episode 5 with a 9.2 out of 10. Great choreography, great dialogue, brilliant cinematography, nothing much to fault it except the episode, well, the final act with just sending everything off was a tad bit too long. But, um, that is my review and ranking and rating, well, my review and rating of Falcon and Winter Soldier episode 6. I hope you all enjoyed. And tomorrow I will be doing my ranking of all six episodes. Right, so let me give you a timeline of what's going on. So, we'll uh have... -huh. Give me a sec. Okay, so uh, my next four videos look a bit like this. So surprise for you at the end for all of this. So tomorrow will be the ranking of Falcon and Winter Soldier, all six episodes, and I'll be sporting a new haircut for it. And then Sunday we'll be doing the brilliance of Sherlock. If you're wondering which Sherlock is a TV series that was out in 2010 and went through to 2017. Next, we've got the top five TV shows of all time. I'm thinking about putting it to ten because there's too many. And then finally, why Obadiah is a decent villain. Very exciting, if I'm being honest. Um, wide variety, but half of it Marvel, one of it's a new one, and then back to ranking. So there's two rankings and two in-depth videos for you guys. But let me tell you something. Me and Chris will be having a conversation on Sunday over the chase. Um, but let me tell you something. I'll be daily uploading on this date. The 28th of May will be when I finish school with clubbing year 11. Three years in America is like 10th grade maybe. But, yeah, I'll be done by then, and I'll have until September the 3rd for daily uploading, and I'll be at college, and I won't be able to upload much, hardly anything. But, these next three months, I will be doing a uh, fitness journey from turning out from this ch chubby bastard to being a fit man. Um, I'm going to be recording that journey, because why wouldn't you? It's just a missed opportunity. <laughs> but... Um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, watch out for 28th of May, that'll be when I'm uploading constantly. And also, one last thing. I'm not going to explain it, but if you know, you know. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you take care. Um, and also enjoy some of the sun today. Uh, that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm half naked. Uh, just got me this on over my thing. And also some uh, shots. But, yep, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and peace.